guys and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna have another clash of clans video i know it's been a while and um yeah this video is gonna be a bit interesting for you because not everyone knows this method of um attacking what i'm gonna teach you today and it connects to blizzard and you can do it with blizzard lalo you can do it with blizzard dragons you can do it with any blizzard um, that you use but it's a very good one because nowadays out there the bases are pretty much baited all of them and a lot of people depend on their bomb towers so this video is going to be about how to actually land your blimp on top of the bomb tower and still have your super wizards alive and you know going through and smashing the base and yeah i got <laughs> you know i got this beautiful king right here finally and i unlocked it a few days back but um and i did i just couldn't get on the game too much i was just coming and doing legend attack and um yeah i just you know gather up some few different style bases and um yeah i'm gonna show you like how exactly you can do this method and uh, it's pretty simple but uh, it takes practice obviously like invisibility and stuff you always have to practice this stuff to get good at it even the pros sometimes they mess up so um, yeah let me, let me remove that that's, that's really annoying right there and yeah guys see that we are finished i'm sorry i couldn't bring you guys the videos and uh, i had just a lot of other stuff and uh, yeah i bought these <laughs> i bought this one actually and then uh, i'm holding on to the next one hold on where is it uh yes yeah, this one master statue that one gonna be pretty expensive i think i gotta hold out to like two cwls and then we have the last one statue the champion so um yeah let's get right into the text for the first attack we have this box style base you guys know this base man i put it in every other video as well so you guys can know which strategy is good for them like how to beat it you know um, obviously you can do a, a, any strategy you like but like the way is like how to beat this base and uh, as you guys can see there's bomb towers always close to ego and scatter and that's why you can't do the blizzard there so you want to put the blimp when you put it you earthquake the bomb tower look at the earthquake if the blimp goes on top then that's where you pop the blimp because the blimp will drop a bomb and that bomb will um, you know hit the bomb tower and it damages so when the blimp drops, your bomb, the bomb tower will be dead, and the bomb will kill your barbarians first. So it won't have enough time or um, anything to kill your super wizards. And look the value that super wizards can get here. My rage disappeared because I dropped it a bit early. Uh, I could have got the multi as well if I had one more invis, but that's just <coughs> sorry, that's just too much invisibility. And now obviously you have the uh, baby dragon on the left hand side i'm gonna you know have the lalo as well so uh, it won't be a very short video you know but it will still be all right and um yeah in case you guys just want to see some lalo as well i'm gonna try to <coughs> coach it and teach it and like commentate it or whatever um yeah i sent the rc to go to the right side but i forgot the ice golem was not distracted by the queen and king yet so the rc got stuck on it and i had to go through ability so I drop a loon to just help out with the RC. My king is going around. I wall break the queen inside. I hope she goes in. I don't think she will. But um, I wall break again. But she went in. Man, it's queen. You never know with him. And the yak beat through the wall. It's just, it's just amazing. The wall breaker opened the wall to the single tower inferno. That's pretty good. And my RC is going to die unfortunately because of the single. My barbarian king will not be able to take the town hall I think. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, with the queen ability, you got it. And then now the multi in the middle stayed up. So now you want to lolo around to the royal champion so you can use, you know, the um, headhunters and the warden ability. I use another hound because I saw my hound got destroyed so quickly. And then I pop the warden ability here. And the good thing is when you do this, the hound will cross the base with the warden ability. So you will be tanked perfectly and it's full health when it becomes like, when it goes through. And now look at how many red eye bombs just hit my loons. My loons in the middle are done. And that's why I wanted to take the moot in the middle. Now you just, you know, put some loons around the base, you're going around and um, yeah, usually you have a freeze for the back end or two, but I didn't have here because I had to freeze the sweeper at the beginning if you guys saw, because I missed it. I missed like just to tell you guys. But yeah, um usually you wanna freeze that if the sweeper is pointing outside through, like towards the um the bomb tower. And uh, yeah, the freeze really helps. And I'll put it two times. You know, it's just a matter of cleanup. And uh, let's see if we can get it. 12, 10. Come on, <laughs> guys. Look at this. <laughs> Yo, that's 99.99%. Now we have a ring base. 
and the ring base guys no one likes it man <laughs> absolutely no one likes it look at the bomb towers the way they are placed is, is basically like you cannot drop a blimp there but if you do just look how much value you can get you can get the eagle you can get the town hall you can get the expo you can get the scatter and you can get a multi with few builder huts and probably the air defense and the archer tower around just guys just look at the value and again you earthquake you let the blimp go exactly on top even a bit past the bomb tower that's when you pop the blimp manually so the blimp will drop down and the damage will kill the bomb tower guys this is very important like a lot of times you can just easily get through these bases with one earthquake literally one earthquake is all it takes why not to take it I, and I take it except um, like I count out one haste spell and I take an earthquake because if the super wizards actually work out look how much value you can get you don't need your loons to go so fast you already have two haste there won't be any base and I'm just starting my hero you know hero dive sweet or whatever you want to call it Oh yeah, look at the base, guys. <laughs> the amount of va I got the eagle, bro. Like the eagle is so important. Usually there's a tornado trap, so you gotta watch out. That's why they put bomb tower there, so the blimp, like the base builder, is not gonna expect the blimp to land there. That's why there is not much traps. Usually there is no tornado. There is no like black air mine. There is usually one or two you can find, but the hound will take it. You know and now the sui will just keep going around this ring and um, yeah i put a wizard down there so my queen would go back around because i think if i didn't she would just go through a wall but um the, yeah the yak be through that beautiful wall rc ability goes off i go my rc is in the middle and that's good i don't have an invisibility spell for her so i'm she's just gonna die so i start the lalo because i had about like one minute ten seconds left i think Wait, look at the pathing guys this is a beautiful pathing for lalo again my hound got so much in front so i think i had to drop another hound at the back end again look hound with a headhunter pop the warden ability and now haste the loons into the first air defense so the hound will be tanked for the next air defense look at the hound it's gonna go through pull all the traps i freeze the multi because my warden ability went off and easy look at my queen guys the queen is still alive i have a giant few loons you know minions around and it's just so simple man to freeze you know i freeze the king so my queen stays alive to you know grab all the other stuff and look at how many loons i have i started with 24 loons and i think i have 25 loons <laughs> i don't think I, I lost like i didn't even lose like five loons i think bro that was insane dude like this is how simple you can just take out a ring base. sometimes guys you know sometimes it's just not the day okay sometimes you blimp and it doesn't work that's all you know you can't change it so for the next attack we have this weird style base but um yeah i mean you probably seen this type of base that is like a it's like a diamond but the town hall is not in the corner it's in the middle but it, i mean yeah I, i've never seen this base but look at the bomb tower again i put the hound put the blimp you know earthquake the bomb tower and look at the blimp you gotta let it go and then pop it let it go exactly on top of it and then um, um, yeah then you just invisibility but one thing is make sure if there is some builders around the bomb tower you have to earthquake the builders like because they will fix the bomb tower by the time your blimp will go above it so when the blimp lands the bomb tower will have the additional health and it will not be dropped down trust me it's, it's a bit tricky but you gotta just make sure so i drop a sneaky there drop a baby jack on top i want my sui to go inside and uh, take out the multi and the ego and hopefully the archer queen let's see how much i can get i pull the hound to the other side because uh, i don't like hound cc guys it usually make me time fall i don't know why um yeah it's just um, so weird man you have to deal with it for so long but yeah now i want my king to go you know around and inside in that path in that you can see right now and my queen will pop the hound i drop the poison beautifully and uh, some of the pops just go to the king but it's fine and uh, i wanted my queen to go inside that uh, archer tower compartment to grab the e like the multi and the warden tower and she did so i dropped the rc at the bottom to help out with the king some stuff but look at my wall break man i wanted my queen to access to the eagle i don't know why that wall break went there like what the hell <laughs> the ice golem is tanking perfectly and then uh, my queen is gonna grab the multi i have queen ability i have the rc ability and i have invisible sign guys just look at the base guys where's the base guys where is the base someone tell me please like <laughs> 
This base is getting absolutely demolished from the internet, man. And I start the Lalo because I don't have too much time. I'm just watching my Sui. I'm just enjoying Warden on the ground, uh, on air, sorry. Hound goes in front, um, another Hound comes, and then I have few loons, few loons again. You wanna drop the loons separately, three to four group of loons, easy. And then they go in, pop the Warden with, you know, few headhunters. I didn't need the headhunters because it's enemy king, so I don't care. And I drop the loons around the base, so it distract the other defenses from the outside. I freeze the multi tower, haze through, and it's just so simple, man. So simple, queen's still alive outside. And yeah, I have another freeze, I use it. I could have not used it, but I just wanted to have more loons for the cleanup. I don't think I had enough time at the end here, but yeah, it's just replays because um, yeah, I had to show you guys different bases. That's why I couldn't just um, record every single attack I was going in live. So I'm doing, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm doing my voice on top of it. But yeah, let's go to the next base right now. Let's see what we got there. So, now we have this space that I think you guys probably seen it that they scatter and the expo is in the like the sides but it's kind of isolated and then there is three inferno towers next to the town hall that's just insane guys <laughs> but look at again the bomb tower placement the bomb tower is on the right and left hand side of the town hall because they don't want you to blimp there and get the inferno get the town hall but what are we gonna do we're gonna blimp there and I dropped the loon to you know so my loons can pull any traps drop the blimp Earthquake, there was a bomb and um, there was a builder, but it's fine because uh, I earthquaked it. So now the blimp lands, simple as that. The base builder will not imagine you landing a blimp there, guys. Some base builders might know it because it's, it's, it's not the newest trick that you could use. But yeah, I, I could free, I could use another invis to get the multi, but I, I just figured, no, yeah, let me just hold it. Drop a wizard down there and put them to can real quick, yeah. Drop a wizard down there to funnel my king and queen around. Drop a baby drag so my king can go inside. I drop a wall break and then I drop another one, but it goes somewhere else because it's a wall break. It doesn't have a brain. It's a skeleton. God damn. And I drop a RC for the middle because uh, my queen cannot reach the scatter. And that lassie is perfectly tanking that scatter shot. I look at my king and he's just gonna go around. The CC will be pulled out pretty soon. And uh, I'm gonna poison the super minions and freeze the headhunters because I want my king to stay a bit more, you know, alive so my queen could get, you know, more into the base and I could grab more stuff. Look at my RC, I have the ability and an invisibility spell that I kept at the beginning. So now I'm gonna easily take out the ego and then my queen just taking out the upside, like the upper side of the base. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I, I could have not used the invis, I think but and i could grab the multi but you'll see how i love and i had ice hound i'm just looking around the base right now see which side is the best but i go from my upside i drop two loons on motor two loons on arch towers and then the loons will easily just you know go through and I, this is the main group of loons that you want to put three or four and then put the warden uh, yeah again i'm using the ice hounds because um, i'm liking it and um yeah this is i think it was for yesterday i think Oh yeah, um, again, Ice Hounds. Look look how beautiful is the Ice Hound. It has more health than normal Hound. And then look at the freeze. Simple as that, man. Scatter is frozen. I freeze the multi, the multi that I skipped at the beginning. Warden goes on. I put another haste down. And then I'm gonna make sure the Warden ability protects every single balloon in that area. And look at how many red air bombs I've pulled up. The, the, the Lalo is just, guys, it, it takes a lot of um, practice like a lot of practice when I tell you and you have to like the strategy like I like the Lalo from when I when it was like kind of nine you know when when I first got the lava hound in that dark works it was insane and I tried you know practiced it since then then I left it a bit and then I practiced again tunnel 11 and 12 and then 13 I got a, a lot better and then 14 is just so beautiful man when you loll around the base like that and um, yeah that was it basically listen man I hope you enjoyed this video learn something new because I think you probably have <laughs> and if you did please make sure to drop a like and sub to the channel I'm gonna have probably more content like this you know if, if you have any ideas any like uh, strategies you want me to use leave it down in the comments you know and um, it's, it's just um, yeah it's, it's good to learn these things in Clash of Clans because this game is a lot more about just spamming troops inside a base it's about a lot of you know this is a strategic game so you're gonna play like a strategic you know like you're gonna you have you have to have an open-minded 
you have to be open-minded sorry and um yeah th this just easily makes you a better player <laughs> like by having one earthquake in your army and i didn't tell you guys one thing about this sometimes you don't even want to land on the bomb tower you want to land somewhere else and if you land there in, in case you didn't grab what you wanted and it's like on one hp uh, let's say it's a town hall you want to you wanted to grab the town hall but your super wizard died and the town hall is so low but you don't have anything to drop on it and you cannot get it and the builder is repairing it but now with this strategy you obviously have the earthquake as well to drop on top of it in case there is a one hp building so i'm gonna show you guys the strategy real quick this is the spell strategy that you want to take and you want to take a rage five enemies poison earthquake two haste and three freeze from clan castle or you can do any like the, f the spell is like this but if you want to have one less invis and take another haste or another freeze that's up to you but five invis is beautiful and then uh, obviously the the lalo strategy i'll go deeply into it in one of the videos just you know teach exactly how and like everything i could do it live on a legends attack but um, yeah I'll, I'll see how it goes but um, yeah, this video my, was mainly focused on the earthquake spell. So I hope you guys, um, you know, again, learn something new. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. And peace.